right, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, one of the things I had to learn right off the bat was power management. How much do these rigs need? How much does my computer need to run? Uh, can the wall outlet handle it? Stuff like that. What is your power usage? What is your watt consumption? And uh, how do you calculate it just so you don't overtax a circuit, trip breakers, etc.? And it's not that hard to figure out. You just got to, you know, have the right material and just uh, educate yourself. So basically, let's look at this table right here. How many watts can an outlet handle? Most U.S. homes have a 110 volt, 15 amped circuits, right? You'll see that in your circuit breaker panel. So basically, if you have a 15 amp circuit, you can calculate the watts by multiplying the 15 amps by the 110 volts. This gives you 1650 watts that you can draw from that outlet, from that circuit. Not just an outlet, because uh, you can have many outlets on a circuit, right? On one breaker. So you got to also think about that. It's not per outlet, it's per circuit. So this gives you 1650 watts. If you use the 80% uh, rule, you then really safely have 1,320 watts to work with. You don't want to go over that 80% rule because sometimes with my rigs, they're running, they're running, and I've had some just go rogue where why is this one starting to use more power? And it's because I didn't have the overclock settings right or something went wrong, and I was like, it was just odd, and then it would uh, you know just consume more and more power, and uh, it wasn't good. So you just want to make sure Use the 80% rule. So in this case, you have 15 amps times 110 volts, giving you 1650 max watts you can use. Then using the 80% rule, you really safely should just draw 1320 watts for your rigs if you're using basic 15 amp 110 volt outlets on a circuit, right? With a 20 amp circuit, you have 2200 watts that you can use or if you use the 80% rule 2200 80% gives you a safe 1760 watts you can use so here you can see more values again based on your home setup uh, us again typically it's 110 15 amp what i did we had a uh, a leftover 30 amp in the panel uh, where a tank water heater was. That was replaced a few years ago with Insta Hot Water Heater. So they just left a 30 amp breaker in there, which is good because right now with the supply chain issues, it's hard to get even circuit breakers for your panel. So that is an issue. So the electrician came, saw that we already had the 30 amp coming into the panel, which is awesome. And then we traced the cable to where the old tank water heater was. And he just basically continued the 10 gauge cable to the place, to the room where I had my rigs, where I wanted to put my rigs. And then he wired in a 30 amp plug, which is like a dryer plug, you know, the three prong thing should twist. And then now I have a 30 amp circuit, 240 volts. And that thing is great. I can put most of the rigs on it and I'm good to go. And it's almost like, Dry, uh, running a dryer all day, <laughs> especially when you get your power bill, you'll see it. So that's what I've done. You can use your 110, 15 amp, but you got to know the amount of watts you're pulling on your rigs. And I'll show you what I use uh, to show what my rigs are pulling. You can look at the software you're running, the uh, software mining uh, applications. You can look at the hardware info app on Windows. It'll kind of give you a a pretty good idea what each component is drawing from the motherboard to the CPU to the actual GPUs. It'll show you the temperatures and the watt being uh, the watts being drawn. So that is uh, that's a good way to start to say, hey, am I okay? Am I overtaxing the system? And uh, how to plan accordingly by uh, spreading out your rigs and or considering getting a 30 amp service hooked up by your electrician. Just get an electrician to come in, get a couple guys to come in, because what I found, even if you get these outfits that have a lot of trucks, a lot of people, do commercial and uh, residential work, they'll come in, they'll give you good information, they'll say, we'll get you an estimate, and guess what, you'll never hear from them again, 
And but what I found is the local guy who knows what he's doing. He's just a one man, two man shop. Those are the guys that work their butts off and they want your business. Go for the smaller shops that want your business and appreciate your business. Let's go look at the um, power supply, the ups I use. It actually is a backup power supply. So if I do lose power, it'll keep things running for a few minutes and give me time to shut them down gracefully without taking that hard hit of a power outage. Right, so this right. is a cyber power. 1500 VA. This is a few years old. This is a backup power supply. It has a battery in it. The concept being if the power goes out, your equipment will stay powered up for whatever amount of minutes to give you enough time to go in and shut them down gracefully. I have one on my uh, router. So if the power goes out, I still have router access on my Fios and I can still do stuff on the internet for about 20 minutes because it's not hooked into the main power, which went out, it's on battery backup. And uh, when I first started, I had uh, my two rigs on this. And what I liked about it is it has built-in alarms. So if you start drawing more than you should, based on the 80% rule, an alarm would go off saying, hey, you're drawing too much from this unit. You may want to consider distributing the load to different circuits. So I like that. And one way you can check is it has this display you hit the display button and it will show you in watts, like right now, it shows you the load on this unit and how much of your battery is charged up in case the power goes out. And it shows you the current draw, which is 198 watts being drawn. And I have my network switch on it right here. And I have one CPU rig hooked off it. So I'm drawing 198, it'll go up and down, 189. You'll see that fluctuation right there. Yeah, that's all I have on it right now. When I first started, I had a full almost rig or two on this thing, and I was getting close to the 80% roll. It worked fine. I got nervous burning that much juice from one circuit. So then I, you know, I like I said, I got a 30 amp to 40 service hooked up, and I, I feel a lot more comfortable with that without overtaxing it. So here's something you could do. It's another option. These are not that much, under a hundred bucks. Uh, you can get these, they're heavy. I mean, you get free shipping, definitely. They come with like a little motorcycle type style battery. Uh, and again, like I said, they got all the display stuff on here with alarms. And uh, what I do, like I said, you can slap one on your, your uh, router that comes into the house, whether it's Fios or whatever system you're using, whatever service. And then, so if the power does go out, you will still have internet for as long as your battery is uh, is alive, has juice, and it works great. Uh, so it's funny, the power you get power hits, you can still do internet stuff, and it gives you a few minutes to shut down your systems gracefully without taking a hard hit. All right, I hope this helps. This is one of the uh, most useful things to help get me up to speed on power management, how to see what systems are drawing and uh, compare it to what the software is telling you on Windows and the mining software applications, which will show you how much power each GPU is drawing in watts. And then also, like I said, in Windows, you have the hardware info app, which will tell you how much power is being drawn per component like CPU and motherboard. All right, hope this helps. This is how you get started. Look at the first table I posted to get up to speed. If you have any questions on power consumption, what tools to use, etc. Post it in the comments below and we'll get right back to you as soon as we can. All right. Hope this helps. Go forth, do great things. If you found this useful, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out. I appreciate it. I will talk to you later. All right, guys. Take care.